evening. Welcome to another episode of Six at Six. I am Geraldine Hickey. You are. You have been every night so far, and it's been a joy to work with you. I am Guy Montgomery. And Geraldine, can I ask you a question? I th yes. How are you? Very well. Very well. How yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm, re I'm also really good, actually. And where are you? Where are we? Oh, today we are coming to you live from the foyer of the Victoria Hotel. I can reach the roof. You are very tall. Yeah. And can I say this about the Victoria Hotel? Yes. Truly, one of the most eye-catching venues in all of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. I mean, this is a beautiful... Look at that giant chandelier. This is, this is a staggering thing. And, and can I say to any of you who don't immediately rush out of your homes and join us down here in the Vic Hotel, you are, in fact, a buffoon. Absolutely correct. A whole bunch of shows happening here at the Victoria Hotel. Oh, yeah. We have some of the stars from those shows, so let's bring them in. That's right. Please, would you join us in welcoming uh, Tim Hewitt, Cal Wilson and Stu Dolman, everybody. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Here they come. Now, come in the middle. We love it when you're in there. the middle. Get oh, in yeah. There. And also, also well dressed. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, should you, do you want to drive this part of this, the show today, Julian, or should I? Well, I'll give it a crack. I'll okay, start us go. off. Basically, we are almost at the end of the festival. Uh, it's been a, about a month of highs and lows. So let's go through some of your your favourite anecdotes from this festival. Do you want to go first? Sure. Um, I was at Mackey's uh, late one night and this guy walked in and he offered to double my meal, double my meal. He said, what are you having? He says, I'll double it. And I was like, I didn't want that. And then he said the same thing to Ben Russell. And then uh, we were like, that was so weird. He went and sat down. He's in this big suit. And then he, and I've dared Ben to go try and offer to buy him a cheeseburger. And then he goes, no, 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 I won't, like, I won't do that. Uh, I'm gonna buy you cheeseburger. And then he goes, what do you want? And then Ben went, I want seven cheeseburgers. And then he bought him seven cheeseburgers. <laughs> but, but, but when he tried to pay for the seven cheeseburgers, uh, the card got declined. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's, so, that's pretty good, seven cheeseburgers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. What's, what's going on with the fish? Uh, he's, he's loving it, he's, uh, he's in the show. Uh, he does a speech in the show and um, I look after him. Do you? Or did you leave it somewhere? I left it at Macca's, yeah. That's true. Stu, Stu and I got a little Macca's one night, and half an hour later at 2.30 a.m., Stu called up and said, did you take the fish? I didn't take the fish. Stu went back to Macca's. Yeah, I had to get another Uber. I've spent a lot of money on Ubers rescuing this fish. <laughs> the poor Cal little blighter can't remember anything either. Yeah, yeah. Cal Wilson, what about you? Uh, I had to throw a man out of my show the other night. Uh, so my show is about anxiety, and about 10 minutes in this guy, there's just a scuffling commotion. And I go, what's going on? Because we're just two old men talking to each other. And the guy goes, I've lost my bag. And then, so then we, I had to do an intervention, and he'd lost his bag somewhere in the Vic Hotel. And I was like, well, you've got to leave the show, because you've got to go and find it, because I'm anxious about your bag now. And he was like, no, no, I'll be fine. And then I was like, hands up, who's anxious about his bag? The whole audience put their hands up going, we are anxious about your bag. And he left, and he found his bag, and he came back in, and he goes, I've got my bag! And the whole crowd applauded him back wow. to his seat. Cool. It's, it's awesome. How much of the show did he miss? Uh, about 50 minutes. Oh, wow. 50? I'm joking, oh. I'm joking, yeah. <laughs> 10, 10. Was it a good 10? Yeah, it was, it was the best 10. I, yeah. I deliberately did it while he was out of the room. I like that. Screw the rest of the audience. We're just going to do this to spite... I'm doing the, I'm doing the finale right now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 20 minutes in. We'll spite this one slightly <laughs> disorganised punter. And Tim, what about yourself? Oh, man, I'm having the dream <laughs> run. A lot of, uh, lot of hype, a lot of buzz about my show, let me tell you. Uh, a couple of TV people in. Got one guy come in, bought me four CC and dries. He was one of the only six people in the show. Made me scull them all. And then at the end, he goes, you've got it. You've got it, kid. And he said, email me on this. And this is his TV show. Uh, it's Merv Hughes Fishing Adventures. So see you, losers. <laughs> I'm on a rocket ship to the fucking moon. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, no. it's, it's a, oh, no. uh, you well, I think you've just lost your job. The, the producer of Murphy's Fishing, of course, yeah. is, the, is, the, is the gatekeeper to yeah. stardom here in Australian I'm comedy. Sorry. I, he, he loves that sort of stuff. No, you've absolutely <laughs> fucked it, Huey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, look, there's God. still, there's still uh, what is it, Friday? So there's three more chances to catch these fantastic shows. Thank you all so much for coming on this evening. You'll find your, your, your runs sell out almost immediately after this huge appearance. Just such as the number and enthusiasm years with the fans watching at home uh, but if you can get the hell out of our frame we've got some festival news to get to thank right you so on. much thank guys. you so much see you later okay Geraldine 
Take it away. Festival news. Do, 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 do. Tonight, it's Festival Club. As always, a whole bunch of great acts happening. Uh, we've got Joel Creasy, David O'Doherty, Seaton Smith. Yeah. Who else? Well, we've got the great Guy Montgomery, actually, who I'm yeah. a huge fan of. Numero uno fan, in the great words of Ray Badran, <laughs> the big fan man. And uh, also, we've got uh, the Spandex Ballet, a tribute to Tism. Yes, one of Australia's greatest rock bands. I'll be doing that as well. Oh, be, what will you be doing in that? Uh, singing, apparently. <laughs> Are you a good singer? No. No, you got no show tunes in you? No. <laughs> uh, also, uh, don't forget, tomorrow the winners of all the awards will be announced, oh, so um, stay tuned for that. a few, few butterflies that. and a few baskets around there, I can tell you. And of course, and I, I know we're running out of opportunities to do this, so it's a great relief that this evening we finally can. Now, at no small expense to myself, as I've said, I have flown the great Jerry Seinfeld out from New York City to Melbourne every yeah, single day. Have you've done this. He it's keeps great. commuting, yeah. uh, and we haven't had time because we keep running over. But this evening, to satiate your thirst for the great Seinfeld's comedy stylings, mm -hmm. it is our pleasure to present to you live from the foyer of the Vic Hotel. I'm getting a big. We're out. Oh, oh for fuck's sake! I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, Jerry, it's not going to happen this evening again. Of absolutely.